Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. Happy weekend. So a lot of you had a bunch of Arrow questions about League of Assassins, as well as the Suicide Squad, Rachel al Ghul, even Stephen Amell being in the Justice League. So I picked 10 of your questions to answer in this video. Also heads up, if you didn't see already, I'm doing videos for Days of Future Past and Captain America Winter Soldier trailers tomorrow. I don't know if I'll have time to do more Super Bowl movie trailers than that, but be sure to subscribe to get those. They're going to be really cool. So everybody grab your Mirakuru cocktails and let's get going. I wish this made me strong like Mirakuru. It only makes me think I'm strong. So, question number one. Reza Zabari asks, Who else will join the Suicide Squad this season, or is it possible that Amanda already recruited some other people? So I don't think we're going to see them again till season three. And when they do come back, it'll still be a really small squad. They're probably not going to cast a bunch of other people. I'm hoping that Cheetah comes next, because it'd be nice to have another female super on the show. Question number two. Ian Rasham asks, do you think the Mirakuru derived from the Lazarus Pit, seeing as how they both share some similar properties and side effects? No, I don't think so. I think that the Mirakuru is closer to Venom, just because they both drive people crazy. I would say the other thing that it's really close to is, you know, Marvel Super Soldier Serum. But in all honesty, it's like a less crazy version of the Venom. Question number three, Kenny Miranda 97 asks, Will they introduce Slade's daughter? So you're talking about Ravager. They haven't mentioned her, I think, since season one, at least his daughter. They haven't said the name Ravager, obviously. But they did mention Jericho in the last episode, so I think if someone comes on first, it would be Jericho. And probably not till season three, but that would be a really awesome storyline for Slade. Question number four, Adam Norption asks, what other main DC supers do you think Arrow will have? Honestly, I don't think any other major superheroes are gonna come on the show. It's Stephen Amell's show, so nobody's gonna come on that's a bigger actor than him or a bigger character than Green Arrow, with the exception of Flash, and that's just because they're launching a Flash show this year. What you will see though is Flash and Arrow people kind of bounce off of each other's shows, at least in a few cameos during that first season. Question number five, Tekken Master 87 asks, do you think by the end of season two or the beginning of season three we'll ever see Ra's al Ghul? No, I actually think Nis al Ghul is kind of meant to fill that hole. They promoted her so hard, I think they just want us to put all of our attention onto her. I don't think she's gonna die this season, I think she's gonna get like the Grundy end, you know. It's like, you'll see them lying there, but you know, they won't be confirmed dead, so they could always come back in the future. Question number six, Isaias Mazariego asks, Do you think the Flash TV show is gonna introduce different Flashes like Wally West or Kid Flash, and when is it gonna start? So, I actually think that's gonna start in the fall, but I don't think they're gonna have any other Flash besides the Barry Allen Flash, and when they do have another Flash, it'll probably just be, you know, like the reverse Flash. So he's probably not going to come on anytime soon, though. Question number seven, Henry LH asks, Did you notice the guy that left the bar just after Laurel did? Do you think he was a member of the League of Assassins? I actually kind of think that he was just a stalker person, and that Sarah, who was back at Laurel's apartment, will end up kicking his butt. Question number eight, Elizabeth90 asks, Do you think that Slade will make Oliver relive the scenario of Shadow's death, only this time with Laurel and Sarah? You're talking about in present day. So careful for potential spoilers in my answer, because that's actually a really good question. So in theory, if he does do that, then yes. The writers have said that they're pushing Laurel towards the Black Canary character, but I didn't think she was going to get there that fast. I think this season she's still going to be regular Laurel. It's totally possible though, based on what you suggested, that that could be how she becomes Black Canary though. You know, Sarah dies, so there is no more Canary, so someone has to fill in the hole. Question number nine, Jason Cheeseball asks, is Amanda Waller good or bad? It's kind of hard to tell. So Amanda Waller works for the government, so you should think of her as like a shotgun that just shoots superheroes and supervillains at problems in hopes that they solve them or die trying. So she's kind of ambiguous. That's part of the appeal of the character, is that she's not really bad and she's not really good. Question number 10, Nam Harper asks, Do you think that Thea could go to the dark side after learning who her biological father is? So, I think that by the end of the season, you know, all the normal character relationships will be resolved. But I do think that the League of Assassins could dangle Thea, you know, like put her life in danger to bring Malcolm out. So in all likelihood, she will probably find out, but it'll probably be because she gets kidnapped and her life is threatened. All right, and one more bonus question. Mobmaster asks, do you think that Batman and Superman will be mentioned or make cameos in the show? And do you think that the future Justice League movie will include a new Oliver Queen or Stephen Amell? So definitely no on the Superman Batman. They're way too big to be on the show. It would overpower Stephen Amell. It's his show, like I said earlier. With respect to Justice League, Stephen Amell himself actually went on his Facebook page and said, absolutely not. I have not been approached about any Justice League movie. In all likelihood, the Justice League movie will be like a Trinity movie. It'll just be Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, and they just won't have the Green Arrow in it. Don't get bummed though, because Stephen Amell also said that he was totally down to make an Arrow movie. That probably wouldn't happen until after the show goes off the air, which I'm not expecting to happen for several seasons. Hint, hint, I'm expecting at least five seasons, maybe even seven. 
Thank you so much, you guys, for submitting questions. This was a lot of fun. Hopefully, I answered some of your bigger questions. Don't forget, Nis Al Ghul is coming next week. It's going to be totally awesome. And a whole bunch of Super Bowl trailers coming tomorrow. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. Right now, click here to get last week's episode of Arrow. And click here to learn all about Jesse Eisenberg becoming Lex Luthor. People had some very interesting opinions about that. It was a lot of fun to talk about. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tonight. High fives.